a very nicely kept 08 Simba Safari 33 to 35 footer coming in here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a gasser on a workhorse chassis. Seems to have been very nicely kept. If you're not familiar with Safari Motorhomes, it is actually a uh, member of the Monaco Motorhome family. You know, it sounds a little lackluster when I describe it as a one-slide Class A. You feel like you're not, you know, getting your bang for your buck. But when you start looking at it and you realize that it has one massive full-wall mega slide, it starts here in the living room and goes all the way back through the bedroom. Basically, the entire right-hand side of the RV as you face the rear is just a giant slide out. That refrigerator, that huge closet like all of the bedroom wardrobe storage all the way back to the rear wall. Let me walk back there. This is all one slide, like I said, all the way back here. So again, it sounds a little like, oh, really only one slide? It's like, no, it's not only one slide. The whole RV, basically, <laughs> is a slide out. What's kind of cool is it gives it a nice kind of just wide open flowing floor plan. And I tell you, whoever owned this, Good gravy. They knew how to take care of their coach. It looks like it's been stored inside out of hearth, uh, hearth, harsh weather conditions. Um, this has a soft touch noise canceling ceiling liner like a lot of coaches. But one of the things on these is if this coach ever had experienced a leak, which it hasn't, this thing would be stained and I don't see any of that going on here. Um, we uh, have, you know, dual air conditioners. There's there's different heating methods in this coach. This is this is a pretty big sized rig. Something where if you did want to go, you know, seasonally jumping around, or if you wanted to do, uh, I don't know, potentially full timing, it is capable. Like almost every used motorhome I've seen, the entertainment system has been updated. Uh, to be, uh, you know, flat screen kind of friendly and compliant here. And I love all the windows in this front end. I love that big atrium window overlooking that uh, Euro rocking swivel chair right there next to the door. It just, it gives you a huge expansive view of your site and your destination. Not to mention one of the cool things about any motorized RV is you get these front windows right here from, you know, your, your cockpit area to give you an awesome view of your destination. The uh, captain's chairs naturally, like almost any Class A, can spin around, so you're regaining living space that in a conventional Class C of a similar size would obviously have been lost. The uh, driver's area up here, I kind of like the way it's all organized. Like when I sat down at it, it just sort of makes sense. The buttons are in the places that make sense to me. Maybe that's a sign that, uh, you know, if it makes sense to you, you might want to get yourself psychiatrically evaluated, but to the point, I think uh, it, it makes sense the way this is all laid out. One of the other things I noticed, I was just kind of curious over here. So I said, hmm, I wonder if the, uh, how the generator's doing. And bam, I don't think you can hear it from in here, but it started up like that just now. The generator is in ace condition. The whole RV really appears to be in excellent condition. As I said before, we are in a workhorse chassis. I don't think I mentioned sooner. Apologies, this does have 26,400 miles on it. Sorry about that. Over here. We've got our, uh, you know, power heated mirror controls. You can also see our full uh, leveling and auto leveling controls. So, you know, everything on this is, is pretty, pretty plush considering it's an 08. And our seating and everything, super clean. You know, this, are, this whole RV is, is clean in, in the various senses of that word clean, meaning like it's physically clean, like, you know, Lysol clean. It's also clean in the fact that I'm not finding a bunch of scars and bumps and jumps and stuff like that all over. And this wild zebra print, I gotta believe that that was part of the whole Simba Safari theme. You know, I feel like a little bit of the Lion King circle life taking place here. But here's the thing. This is what kind of struck me on this. I started looking at them real close. And even these are clean. And the white sections of the seat like that would be very difficult. Like you can see obvious, uh, you know, vacuum cleaner trails through the carpet. I can see where the, you know, the floor has been swiffered and whatnot. This, this has been very well kept. The kitchen area over here, like a lot of motorhomes at a glance, it looks kind of small, but there's a surprising amount of storage going on up here. You might note as we go through, uh, there's going to be some stuff in some of the cabinets. The folks are just done RVing. They had a bunch of good adventures. They took excellent care of this thing. That's a convection microwave, by the way. But there, 
running around adventuring days are drawing to a close. So rather than let this thing just kind of sit in their, uh, you know, storage enclosure, they decided, you know, let's let this thing go. Let's let the next person have a good time. Remember that our kitchen kind of continues over here. We've got a 10 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator freezer. Next to that is a large vertical pantry. We will see that in just a few moments when we circle back to take a look at that closet. First, I wanted to go through the hallway area over here. Take a look at the uh, bathroom facility. The uh, it got a porcelain foot flush stool, and I love all the leg room in front of that toilet. If you got long legs like me, or when you get out of the shower, you can actually get dressed in here. And having nice counter space in here and dedicated linen space right in the bathroom, those are two excellent qualities that I see some very high-level motorhomes <laughs> surprisingly miss on a frequent basis. Uh, up top, another of those Max Air fans. Any of the ceiling fans we're looking at are going to be like the bigger vent fans. I tend to use the word Max Air, kind of, uh, which is a name brand. I kind of use it as the name of the thing, so it might be a fantastic fan. I'm not sure the specific brand, but you get the idea. Now, this thing has a 7-foot interior clearance, so that means that uh, whether you're in the shower, walking around like I am right now, whatever the case may be, you're going to be uh, very comfortable in here. Another thing that's nice is you have a residential queen bed. Interesting thing I've noticed is like, especially in the towable RV business, people really dislike a shorter camp queen, but for the majority of motorhome production, that has been the predominant bed arrangement is a short camp queen. One of the benefits of this north-south design right here is that we don't have a wall that's sliding, so you get this huge window over here right on the campsite of your RV. But it also allows us the ability to have a walk-around residential size queen. So if you do want to swap out mattresses, you can. Now, something else I've noticed. There's about three inches on either side of this thing. So you might... No, no. I, I, I was thinking you might be able to squish like a king in here, but I didn't think about the little notch in the back corner. Um, there is a sliding full privacy wall here for the bedroom, by the way. I didn't want to forget that. All of our AC vents for that dual AC system, they can turn and close, by the way. But remember that, uh, how I said at the beginning of the video, all the way back here, our, uh, you know, slide out goes all the way into the bedroom. And this is where the bulk of your bedroom storage is going to be located. It really kind of starts with the side stands on both sides of the bed. They each have their own little storage compartments. This one's a little larger as a pair of dresser drawers. And uh, both of them have household outlets. So if you're looking for a uh, phone charger or something like that, this was made before CPAP machines were just super prevalent, but it's still CPAP friendly, which is kind of one of the cool things. We've got some decent hanging storage here. But that's like only closet number one, and this is the small closet, which is already pretty darn good size. As I mentioned in the living area, the entertainment systems have been updated from the conventional old big old boxy TVs to some more modern flat screen stuff. This down here is like the size of a washer dryer cabinet, but I haven't actually located any sort of washer dryer hookups, by the way, so sort of keep that in mind. That is one of those features that has become more and more demanded by the RV uh, consumer in recent years. Even though, it's funny, people really want it, but very few people actually use and install a washer dryer in their RVs, like less than 2%. Anyway, um, <laughs> this closet's massive. This is a hide-and-seek closet. A grown adult could jump in this thing and hide in here. And I love that they didn't just make it a big old box. They put those adjustable shelves in the back. And what it creates is just, just exactly what we're seeing here. It gives you a place to actually be able to, to mount or, uh, you know, keep a, a broom for the RV here, there, or somewhere like that. With a little, again, odds and ends in the drawers and in the cabinets as we go. And I mentioned we would come back to the pantry. That's because it's a slide open pantry and the open shelf uh, area is over here by the refrigerator, which kind of makes sense. You know, you're going to walk over here, grab something from the fridge, close it, grab something from the pantry, and then head back to the kitchen area. As I mentioned previously, the RV has been stored inside away from the weather. So the skin, the decals, the, the tires, nothing is, you know, uh, weather checked and beaten up. This is wide body, as many larger uh, motor homes are. It gives you that extra living space when you reach your destination. It also enhances your ability to more easily access the entire RV when that big super mega slide is closed. You can see how there is a protective slide awning over that. 
which will uh, do a heck of a job at reducing your care, maintenance, and upkeep required up there. Um, I want to take a quick second to zoom in on the tires because, you know, replacing tires in a big coach like this, you don't just like go to the general tire store, you know, the, these are the ones on a bigger 22 and a half inch wheels and you can see this is very, very nicely kept. Um, being a gasser, it does have a drivetrain that rolls through, so we don't really have like a diesel pusher pass through, but you are on a taller chassis, so you do have some really good storage space here. And once again, you're going to find a bunch of random odds and ends, like there's a handy little indoor outdoor rug, there was a picnic table uh, in there that, uh, you know, making it <laughs> so that there's a lot of accessories you're not going to have to buy. If this is going to be your first coach or retirement coach, I guess in a way there's just a ton of extras included in here that you're not gonna have to deal with. One thing I did notice, I think they went past a, a tree branch or something at one point, it looks like there was a, uh, a little thing, a little bit of chatter right here is what that's called, where someone went on the way down. And I noticed maybe some little super minor brush marks on the side, but I want you folks to know that we're not just all sunshine and rainbows. If I see something, I say something. But the thing is, piddly, little cosmetic stuff like this, that's the most uh, derogatory I've been able to be on this entire coach. Overall, this thing is clean, well-kept, and just absolutely excellent condition. You know, like this big rear cap on here, there's no signs of fade or weather cracking or anything like that. It just looks terrific. We're gonna get up on that roof in just a minute so you can see it up there. It also looks pretty darn good. But first, we've got a whole bunch more storage to look at. And one more quick mention of those big windows uh, looking off of the bedroom and up in the uh, cockpit area next to that extra chair. Something else I noticed is all the hardware on the doors, meaning like the locks, the handles, and these gas struts. Everything is still in great working order. It is very common that I see, uh, you know, coaches come in where these gas struts are just used up and maybe the wind got a hold of them and, and kind of bent one up or something like that. I don't see a single ounce of any of that going on here. You know, they're all doing their job. They're all keeping the doors open exactly like they're supposed to. You know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask for better considering this thing's an 08. By the way, I didn't mention this inside. Central vacuum system. There's, there's a lot to talk about on this coach. And uh, obviously our collection unit's outside so that after you're done cleaning your rig, you don't have to worry about, you know, emptying all the, uh, the dirt that you've collected into the RV because that would be a little bit counterintuitive. Dual power entry step for easy come and go. The fact that the steps are also out here means you have a lot less chance of accidentally stepping into the step well and like rolling an ankle or something like that. It's not common, but I have spoken to people where a couple times after a trip, they are, uh, or at the beginning of a trip, they weren't paying attention, got to their destination, they retired after driving, stepped into the step well of something that had a far more deeper, aggressive step well, and hurt themselves, and that won't happen here. And another thing I didn't mention, I just realized, this doesn't just have a rear view camera, we also have side view cameras. The roof and the seals look really good. No surprise they were on top of their maintenance, but something I wanted to, I felt this was an easier area to show it, is if you look down this slide awning, you see how there's a line running like right down the middle of it? It's actually got a support rib that runs the length of the slide awning. Considering the massive length of this super full wall mega slide, that's a really cool feature because it will help prevent that slide awning from pooling water and, uh, you know, slacking down and, and, and bowing, basically. Because if that happens, about the only way to fix it is to run the slide closed and back open. And it's not that the mechanical aspects of the slide aren't capable of opening and closing frequently. It's just that I don't think you want to. So now you don't have to. It's pretty cool what they did there. Um, all the seals and everything looked good. I did notice around the skylight, they, uh, when it was time to probably, because of the age of the RV, it's gone through at least one full peel and seal, which is good because it should at this age. And around the skylight of the shower, they put down uh, this heavy duty slide seam tape and then they seam sealed with self-leveling sealant on top of that. That's like shooting a canary with a machine gun. You know, that's as close to failure proof as anything is ever going to get. 
it may not be the prettiest thing, but tell me from ground level how often you're really looking up here. To me, this is an area that doesn't have to be pretty. This is an area that has to work first. It has to be function first and fashion second. I think they made the right call. I wish more brands would do stuff like that and more people would do stuff like that. Slide seam tape isn't always the prettiest stuff, but good gravy does it work exceptionally well. And they did the exact same thing here up on this front termination strip where the cap meets the front wall. And I tell you, maybe if I'm gonna be ultra picky again, maybe you could spend 30 minutes doing a quick hose and, and brush scrub on the roof, but that's like, that's all this thing needs. It's ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. So, <clears throat> hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between. We do it all, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.